In this video, we'll be going over what Web Analytics is. We'll give a quick overview of the kinds of insights it can give you and give you a taste for how to get started with analytics yourself. Here's a quick look at how it worked for Rachel's online business, Rachel's Kitchen. As a owner of an e-commerce website, you know that website inside and out, and therefore you make lots of assumptions about the user experience, about the journey that a customer might take through the site you're kind of too close to it to be objective. So a tool like analytics gives you real information, real data on user experience, like what page they're coming into the site on, how long they're spending, where they're going on the site, and if they're leaving. Okay, let's get started. So what is web analytics exactly? Well, it's all about using the data that you can collect from your website to give you insights about your business. There are lots of web analytics tools out there, and they can do a variety of things. Since we're just getting started, we'll focus on the basics and talk about ways analytics can help you no matter which specific tool you use. Web analytics helps you by providing data. First, let's look at the different types of data. Let's start with a metric. This is basically anything you can count, such as unique visitors or time spent on site. Now, these are two great examples. If you sell things on your website, you can track how much money you're making or how many products you're selling. If your goal is to get people to read your website, you can track the number of times somebody looked at a blog post or the amount of time that they spent on it. All of these are called metrics. You'll generally analyze metrics by using what are called dimensions. That's another type of data but let's come back to that in just a minute. When you're first starting out with analytics, you might feel like you're swimming in an ocean of metrics, but you'll quickly get used to navigating all this data. So, what do you do with it? Well, you can use web analytics tools to learn more about your website's visitors. There are lots of things that you might want people to do on your website, such as placing an order or getting directions to your shop or even filling out a contact form. This is known as a conversion. Your conversion rate is the amount of people that visit your site and then convert on one of your goals. Web analytics tools can tell you if your conversion rate changes based on where they came from, whether they'd been there before, or even the type of device they're using. So let's look at that last one. If you know your site is working well on certain devices, but not on others, you can identify specific strengths to build on and any areas you might want to improve. You'll notice in that example that we were comparing metrics of conversions or conversion rates, and we were breaking it down by the device they used. The device data we're collecting is called a dimension, and as promised, let's talk about that now. Generally, a dimension is any kind of data you can use to describe something you're tracking with words. Dimensions include things like device type, the browsers visitors use, their geographic location, and much, much more. By taking your metrics and slicing them with dimensions, you can find answers to very specific detailed business questions, like which devices are people finding it easiest to convert on the goals of my website? And that's just one of many questions you can get answered with web analytics. Here's another one. If you want to know what time of day most people visit your website, take your visitors metric and break that down by the hour of day dimension. Or perhaps you want to find out which marketing campaigns are making the most sales. Take your conversions metric and break it down by a campaign dimension. As you deep dive into your own web analytics reports, you'll be able to see which metrics and dimensions are being tracked, and you can then combine them, slice and dice them, to answer the questions that you care most about. If you haven't started with an analytics tool yet, you'll probably want to choose one to install, and most have a pretty similar setup. First, you need to copy and paste some special code onto your web pages. The analytics tool will then start tracking a lot of things on its own, but you might want to configure them 
to track specific things that are unique to your business and your goals. Hopefully you're getting excited about all the amazing insights you can get from web analytics tools. It's another important tool in your online arsenal. If this seems like a lot to take in, don't worry. Just stick with us. We're going to be covering all the terminology and the basics of how you can use web analytics to measure how you're doing with digital. We'll show you how to see whether visitors convert on your goals and how to find out which kinds of visitors perform better than others. On top of that, we'll even go into using analytics to measure and improve your paid and organic search engine campaigns.